This curious story happened in our present time. An old man in worn clothes with a crutch and an old backpack on his shoulders walked through the center of an elite village in Seattle. He came to a huge mansion with high fences. Pulling out a piece of paper from his pocket, he checked what was written on it and pressed the bell. A guard approached. You, an old man, who are you? The guard boomed. To Anthony Smith, tell them that his father has arrived. The elderly man replied. His son, an oligarch, was walking toward him. Anthony, my son, he hugged the oligarch. Alive, healthy, I haven't seen you for so long. Twenty years have passed. They walked across the yard towards the house. The old man said that he sold the house, bought a ticket, and he came to see his son for good. So, are you going to live with me, father? Asked the son. Yes, but nowhere else. You won't kick me out, will you? The owner of the house stopped and thought. He explained to his father that all the rooms in the house were occupied by children, his wife, and servants. And if the father agrees, a large storage room will be vacated for him not far from the garage. Look, father, I can't crowd my family because of your arrival. Helpers are also needed in the house, and from the pantry, we will make an exit directly to the street. The old man agreed without hesitation. Father and son entered the room. There was cans of paint, several canisters of gasoline, and garden supplies. The son said that he would order to remove everything here. The boundary would be extended and it would be warm. The father only answered, the roof will not leak and it'll be good. Thanks, son. Pleased that he had successfully placed his father, the oligarch went into the house. He explained to his teenage son that they would have a grandfather. But he won't bother us because he'll be spending the night apart, he said. He then asked his son to find a cot and a pillow in the attic and to take out his old blanket from the closet to give it to the old man. After five minutes, he went into the boy's room and saw a striking picture. He was cutting into two parts the large old blanket. Why are you cutting the blanket? But now, father, if we give grandpa whole the blanket now, you won't have enough when you're old and we'll move you to the pantry. I have to leave you something. The earth seemed to shake under the feet of the oligarch. He hugged his son, took the scissors from him, and ran out of the room. In the pantry, he saw the guard and his father trying to clear the room of debris. There were no windows, the walls are not plastered, and there was no heating. He grabbed his father in his arms and whispered through a lump in his throat. Immediately drop all this. Let's go inside. The grandson is waiting. I will introduce you. Arm in arm with his father, they approached the porch where their teenage son was standing. Meet father. Here is your grandson, Michael. Anthony introduced. The grandson realized that he was not mistaken in his father, and it was only necessary to push him a little to the right decision. I'm sorry, father, said the oligarch, hugging the old man, battered by life. Conclusion we must not forget our relatives and we need to take care of them if they need it.